I've been living full time in this five by eight tiny home. And just like any other home, I've been ignoring some things. More specifically, it's my DC to DC charger. Now what that does when I drive my Jeep and pull this trailer, it takes power from my alternator into my trailer to charge my 200 amp hour batteries. But on my month long journey down from Edmonton to Colorado Springs, one of my circuit breakers actually malfunctioned. And today we got the replacements. So you're coming along with me while I fix my DC to DC charger. Now I'll show you the piece that malfunctioned. And it was this little guy right here. You connect this to the positive line and it's essentially just a circuit breaker. What was happening on the trip was that it kept flipping. So when I was driving my Jeep, this was actually not allowing me to charge my batteries, which is not good because I got to play Call of Duty. And the reason that I know how this is kind of malfunctioning is that there's actually another one inside my Jeep. So what I did was I pulled that one out, put it into my system, and I've been running this one with no protection. But today we're going to fix both of those. First, we'll need my trusty $50 tool set that I hate, but I use this all the time. Now we got a 50 amp and a 60 amp fuse. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the 60 amp inside the Jeep and then we'll install the 50 amp in the trailer because that's what ChatGPT says to do. And here's where we gotta install it right here. Opening up this right away, you can see that this fuse is completely different than this one. And that's because this is an a and fuse and this is a circuit breaker. Now I first installed this cause I bought my DC DC charger used and it came with it. And I do like it because while it can trip, you can reset it and keep using it. Whereas these ones, once they trip, you gotta replace the blade completely. But from what I heard online, these actually provide you better protection than the circuit breakers. And they're a bit cheaper, so that's why we went with this. But first, let's install the fuse. Now, I don't really know which way this goes in here, but I'm assuming after consulting with ChatGPT, it seems like it can go either way. We'll install this side first, because this isn't connected to anything. And we'll just make sure that's tight real quick. That seems about good to go. And now for this sketchy part, when you connect the live wire, and it looks like we're almost there. Oh, put the cover back on here. Okay, now that we got that one hooked all up, let's go ahead and close the hood, latch it down, Lock it up. And here's all of my off-grid components here. We got my two 100 amp hour batteries here, along with my solar charge controller, my Renergy 1000 watt power inverter, and what we're fixing today, my 40 amp DC DC charger. And I know it all looks super messy, but trust me, everything works just fine. And here's the little guy that we need to replace today. And we do have a master control off switch here. And now we can safely get to work on this. So the first thing I gotta do is just disconnect it real quick. We'll take out this bolt here. And now we can get this one right here. Okay, there we go. And now we'll go ahead and install this 50 amp a &L fuse here. And it's just gonna look exactly the same as the other one. So we'll just take this off real quick and the other one, and then we'll put the fuse blade in. And we'll just get that on right there, tighten that down. And I think that looks pretty good. So we'll turn the power back on. Put that switch there and voila, <laughs> we have light. So now I have the correct protection for my electrical system. 